everyone, welcome back to another science video with Miss DeLeon. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody doing all of their awesome work on Seesaw. I'm seeing so many people on there. Thank you, Eduardo, Jaden, Jefferson, Elizabeth for all of your hard work. Jennifer, I'm so excited to see you on Seesaw, yay. Brittany, hey Brittany, I saw that you just got on Seesaw. I'm so excited to have you on here. Adeline, Natalia, Ursley, amazing job you guys. Today I'm going to talk to you about animals. I am so excited. I love animals. You guys know I have a dog. He's over sleeping on my couch right now. But one thing that I think is so cool about animals is that they all have different body parts. Just like we do. We have hands and fingers to help us grab and pick up things. We have teeth to help us eat. We have legs so we can walk. We can bend and move. And lots of animals have different characteristics to help them survive whatever they are in as well. So that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Animals have different parts because they all live in different places and they all need to use different things to survive. So I have right here some pictures that I want to share with you guys and we are going to kind of guess what part of an an, what animal that this comes from and what part of it it is, okay? Let's go. Ooh, here's the first one. Does anybody recognize that? It is a feather from the peacock. The peacocks use these bright feathers to help attract another mate. So like a wife or a husband. Ooh, what is that? It looks weird, right? Ooh. What do you guys think it is? Kind of looks rough, right? It was the trunk of an elephant. Do you guys know what the elephants use their trunks for? They use it to help drink water and they can also use it to extend up and get their food or things off of trees. Helps them carry things. Ooh, what is this? It was the eye of a tiger. Now, tigers live out in the wild just like those other two animals are and they need really good eyesight. They can see better and way farther than we can. So the eyes for a lot of animals are very important for them to survive because they have to be careful to protect themselves. Ooh, I bet you guys know what this is. That was the beak of an emperor penguin. The beak is their mouth. I think their, their beak is shaped like that so that they can grab fish and food that they need to catch to survive. What is that? That was a dolphin's blowhole. So that is where they breathe from. So dolphins live in the water but did you guys know that they also need to breathe air like we do? Dolphins can stay underwater a lot longer than we can, but you will see dolphins always jumping outside of the water because they need to breathe. And that is something that helps them breathe. Whoa, I have no idea what this is. What do you guys think it is? Kind of looks like it's blue, kind of reminds me of like fish or something? Whoa! It was the mouth of a great white shark. Let's go back and look at that again. Oh, I see it now. Oh my goodness, I see the teeth. We all know that sharks have so many teeth to help them eat all the food that they need to catch in the ocean. Wow, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys know what this is. You know what this is because we read the Magic Treehouse book. It is a arm of an octopus, the tenta one of the tentacles. We know that they use those little suction cups to stick onto things and that they are so strong. Oh, I recognize this too. Do you guys know what this is? That was the clownfish's fin. Fish need their fins to help swim underwater. 
whoa. Now, look at this, you guys. I want you to notice that there is a man right here. So what you're looking at is as bi is bigger than this man. Whoa, it is the tail of a blue whale. Hey, that rhymes, tail, blue, whale, ha. Huh? So this tail is what the blue whale uses to swim and wow, they're huge. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that was a butterfly. Those are the butterfly wings. Now, butterflies are certain colors so that they can blend in with whatever part of nature they're from. Ooh, what is that? Those are the wings of an eagle. They're Wings are nice and big so they can fly and they can soar through the sky. They need those wings. Huh, what do you guys think this is? Kind of looks like a stick. Huh, that was the body of a stick insect. So this is a bug, you guys, and it looks like a stick. Why do you think it looks like a stick? to blend in, to camouflage with its surroundings so it can stay safe away from predators. Predators are people that might want to eat it. So because he has a stick as a body, he can hide easily. Ooh, this is another fun one. Do you guys know what this is? It's the neck of a giraffe. They have such, and look at this little baby one trying to eat its food from its mom. They have nice long necks so they can reach their food at the top of the trees. Ooh, I bet some of y'all know what this is. That was the tongue of a snake. Does your tongue look like that? Mine does not. They actually use their tongue to smell. Isn't that crazy? So a lot of times you'll see snakes going like, that's because they're actually smelling the air. Isn't that kind of crazy? Okay, you guys, this will be the last one we do today. What in the world is that? Those were crocodile teeth. Now they have some big teeth, I think because they probably have to eat some big animals. So they need big, strong teeth. Wow. That is amazing, you guys. All of those animals looked so different, and that is because they need their different body parts for a reason. The dolphins and the fish and the whales, they need their fins and their tails to help them swim. Some animals have claws, and they need those claws to help them climb or to stick to things. Some animals, like polar bears or penguins have really thick skin or fur, and that is to help them stay warm in the cold. We saw a lot of teeth. A lot of animals have different teeth, and that depends on if they eat a lot of plants or if they eat a lot of meat or if their food is big or small. We saw some eyes, some tongues, and a lot of different things. Who knew how many different parts the animals have? All animals are different and they all live in different places and have different needs and they all eat different things. So it's very important that they have different body parts to help them survive. Do you think all animals could look the same? No, it would just not work. They need all of their special parts. My dog does not have a fin and that's because my dog is meant to walk on land not swim in the water for the rest of his life. He could swim if he wanted to for fun, just like me and you can, but we're not meant to stay in the water forever like fish are. What I want you to do is I want you to draw an animal at home and I want you to talk about a part on their body that is special to them. For example, you could draw a picture of a shark and talk about how their tail is important so they can swim or their teeth are important so they can eat. Okay, well guys, thank you for taking the time to learn and listen to my video. I love you guys, I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see you again. But until then, please be sure to show me your work on Seesaw, Facebook, or Twitter because I love seeing all of your hard work.
I will see you guys next time.